Good evening, good evening, good evening. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Queen Bee's $5 jewelry affair. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Today is Tuesday, July 25th. We commemorate and observe National Thread the Needle Day. All of you seamstresses and people that so know what I'm talking about. National Hot Fudge Sunday Day. National Wine and Cheese Day, Culin Culinarians Day, National Ohio Veteran Day, World Drowning Prevention Day, National Merry-Go-Round Day, and Carousel Day. For the week of July 23rd through the 29th, we commemorate and celebrate Women in Baseball Week. We also commemorate and celebrate Capture the Sunset Week, and July 22nd through the 30th is National Moth Week. Now, for this fantabulous month of July, we um, observe and commemorate National Deli Salad Month, National Vacation Rental Month, Sarcoma Awareness Month, National Family Reunion Month, National Hot Dog Month, and National Ice Cream Month, to name a few. So this evening, I have put together a fabulous show for you. And it features $5 jewelry from Paparazzi. And we're going to get started with this very first piece. That is item number 186. And it's called Pacific Pageantry. Now, this is three layers. These are invisible wires, and we have three layers that fall in layers that feature faceted glassy beads. We have elongated pearls in the shape of an ellipse. We have rounded pearls that have a cubed effect to them, and we have an ellipse in the center. It interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure, we have an extender, and we have a pair of ellipse pearl earrings. This is item number 186. 186. Her name is Pacific Pageantry. Pageantry. Isn't she cute? Very, very nice. 186. Pacific Pageantry. Item number 187 came in a few weeks ago or a couple of couple of weeks ago this is item number 187 her name is shimmering symphony in gold here we have a conglomerate of miscellaneous and various size circles that come together that feature an adjustable clasp closure to go around your neck this is a new release it's called Shimmering Symphony in Gold, item number 187. 187. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'm glad you came. Okay. Item number 188 this evening is a beautiful pair of pearls. They are called the More the Modest. We have two strands of pearls that are fitted in between with gold discs for an affect. So it's called uh, the more the modest in gold. We have three sizes of pearls that are featured here. And they are connected to a gold bar. It features an adjustable clasp closure. It is a short necklace. It comes with a pair of matching pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is called the More the Modest. We have two beautiful layers of white pearls that have the gold inserts to give it a little bit more pizzazz. Item number 188, the More the Modest. The More the Modest. Item number 188. 
Item 189 is a vintage staple. It is called Powerhouse. It has artisanal designs on each one of these plates that connect together and meet with this rectangular one in the center that has a lot of artisanal designs in it in, uh, in it and on it. Each one of these uh, plates have the artisanal design. Each side mirrors the other. And then we have this one rectangular piece in the center that uh, makes a statement with the crisscross pattern here. This is in silver. It is from the um, Magnificent Musins collection. It's silver. It features an adjustable clasp closure. And it comes with a pair of matching earrings that are identical to the first piece that is on each side of the necklace. This is item number 189. 189, and her name is Powerhouse. She's beautiful. 189, Powerhouse. Okay. Item number 190 is from the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. She is definitely a force to be reckoned with. I'm just going to put her here and let you take her in. Her name is Fiercely Flowering White Necklace. And as you can see, let me straighten her up a bit. Each side mirrors the other with the white petal floral designs. And then right beneath it, we have the rhinestone petal design in a floral pattern. And then we have an oversized one in the center. It is threaded along a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure, falls and lays like that below your collar, and it comes with a small pair of white rhinestone earrings that are set in silver caps, interfaced and connected to standard fishing fittings for pierced ears. Her name is Fiercely Flowering White Necklace. She is from the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection, and this evening, she is item number 190. Item number 190. Okay. Item number 191 is a fabulous bracelet. It's called Until the End of Timeless. It features three strands of pearls that are interfaced and connected to an adjustable clasp closure that has about maybe a two inch extender, okay? And the pearls are three strands. I wouldn't go past the size seven and a half wrist with this beautiful until the end of timeless white bracelet. This is item number 191. 191 until the end of timeless white bracelet. Okay, now I'm going to deviate just a little bit because I want to show you these earrings. These are called Maven Mantra. We have a conglomerate of pastels going on here in this beautiful um, opaque design. We have a bar, a silver bar that protrudes down the center of this embellished teardrop shape. And it has a conglomerate of rhinestones cascading down. It is a post, very nice acrylic texture, and very nice pattern, making it versatile. You can dress it up or down. This is called Maven Mantra, item number 192. Maven Mantra, item number 192. Very, very nice. The next pair of earrings were released in, I want to say, March or April of this year. They are called Glitzy by Association. This was originally only available in silver, gunmetal, and black. We asked for it in gold, and paparazzi honored our request. 
And so now we have Glitzy by Association, which is this beautiful hoop that is approximately two inches in diameter. We have protruding down the front side of this hoop a conglomerate of rhinestones in different shapes that gives this a whole new blingy vibe. Inside of this hoop, we have a conglomerate of rhinestones that definitely makes a statement, okay? These are post. They're from the Blockbuster Collection. They're called Glitzy by Association, item number 193. And this was just released a little bit earlier this year, a few months ago. So this is considered a new release as well. Item number 193, Glitzy by Association in Gold. Then we have this fabulous, remarkable animal spirit. This is a beautiful earring in an animal print that is interfaced and connected to a gold um, post. Lightweight. This is acrylic and this is gold trim, which really accessorizes and gives this a little bit more uh, flavor. Item number 194. Animal Spirit Post Earrings, 194. Very nice, very nice. Item number 195 is called A Hot Commodity, and this is a, a teardrop in an opaque acrylic texture that has a gold vibe or a yellow vibe to it. It interfaces and connects to a silver post. This is item number 195. These are versatile, cute, and astute. Item number 195, a hot commodity in yellow. A hot commodity in yellow. Item number 195. Okay. Item number 196 this evening is this fabulous, fabulous, fabulous bracelet. And guess what she is called? She is called Rule the Room. She is this beautiful brocade rhinestone that is set in this filigree set with rhinestones surrounding it to give it more pizzazz and flavor. We have five strands of pearls. It is a stretchable band for a flexible fit. This beauty is called Rule the Room. She is a beautiful white pearl bracelet with rhinestone accents and focal points. She is from the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. Her name is Rule the Room. And she will accessorize any of these beautiful pearls that I have shown you. And I have one right here that I am about to show you. This one is called One Woman Show. One Woman Show. We have a conglomerate or a drape of pearls. And here we have four strands. These are fine, small pearls that interface and connect to a medium-sized pearl. And then it duplicates itself. We have a glassy cubed beading in between these two. It interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure. It is a short necklace. I'm just going to see if I can open it up right quick and give you an idea of how short or how long it is. Very cute. And you can do so many things with it. This is one of those pieces when you're wearing that low cut and you need something where less is more. This one woman show is definitely it. Item number 197. 197. She comes with a beautiful pair of matching white pearl earrings that interface and connect to standard fisher fittings for pierced ears. Very cute. This beautiful piece is called One Woman Show. Item number 197. One Woman Show, 197, okay. 198 is a new release. It's called the Boston Backdrop. This is what we call a paperclip chain. 
it is gold, lightweight to the point, in the shape of a small paper clip, and they interface and connect to each other. Uh, it features an adjustable clasp closure, and it comes with a pair of matching earrings that identify with the chain, the links in the chain. This is item number 198. Item number 198 this evening. Her name is Boston Backdrop. She is a beautiful gold chain that is patterned after gem clips. Isn't that nice? 198 Boston Backdrop gold chain. Item number 199 is Sparkly Ever After. It is a gold necklace that features a palette of rhinestones to form this remarkable centerpiece. And uh, we have rhinestones connecting to rhinestones in the shape of a teardrop that interface and connect to a gold chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure, falls and lays like that below your collar. Definitely an attention getter. Comes with a matching pair of small white rhinestones that are set and capped in gold frames interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings for pierced ears. Her name is Sparkly Ever After in gold. Isn't that beautiful? Sparkly Ever After in gold. Very nice. Item number 200 this evening is a necklace from a Fashion Fix set um, that is a vintage set. This is called Glam Queen in Silver. It is from the Glimpses of Malibu collection. And as you can see, we have a conglomerate of silver pearls that are threaded along a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure falls and lays like that below your collar, comes with a beautiful pair of matching earrings. This is item number 200. Her name is Glam Queen in Silver. Glam Queen in Silver. She is from the Glimpses of Malibu Vintage Collection. Now that was a fashion fix necklace from yesterday. And we have the bracelet to match it. Um, it has the same pattern as the necklace. It features an adjustable clasp closure. Kind of difficult to show on this card, but it doesn't have a lot of give and it doesn't have an extender. This is the Glam Queen bracelet. It's the silver pearls. This one, hold up, that was number 200, which means I need more numbers. Give me just a second. We're going to go to number 101. 101 is going to be the number that is going to um, be the number for the Glam Queen bracelet in the silver pearl. Item number 101. And, of course, the matching bracelet, I'm sorry, the matching necklace is item number 200 for the Glam Queen, Glimpses of Malibu. And the matching bracelet is item number 101, okay? Only because they ran out of numbers. That happens sometimes, okay? All right, item number 102 this evening is a beautiful piece that came out a couple of weeks ago. It's called Kaleidoscope Charm. It is a beautiful multicolored necklace that features all of these beautiful gemstones all the way around the circumference of the necklace. Then we have 
an adjustable clasp closure. So this one falls and lays like that below your collar. And because of the versatility and the color of all the beautiful gemstones in the necklace, that makes this a versatile piece. And you can dress it up or down. This is item number 102. 102. And it's called Kaleidoscope Charm. It is a beautiful multi necklace with these beautiful different color gemstones. Very nice. Item number 102. Item number 103 this evening is this fabulous bracelet. It's called Undeniably Dapper. It is a stretchable or an expendable silver bracelet where we have the silver pearls threaded along stretchable bands for an elasticized adjustable fit. We have these two silver bars that is laced with the rhinestones to give it flavor and pizzazz. And right here in the palette of the bracelet or the focal point, the centermost piece, in addition to the silver pearls, we have the silver disc that are threaded in and they are filled with rhinestones. And then we have the glassy beadings for a little bit more flavor and pizzazz. Item number 103, 103 undeniably dapper silver bracelet. Very nice. Okay. Item number 104 is called Royal Reminisce. This is a beautiful pearl and silver chain necklace that are capped in these silver ends. It features an adjustable clasp closure. It's a short necklace. You can dress it up or down. And this silver thread and gives it balance and flair. This is item number 104. Item number 104. And it's called Royal Reminiscence. Royal Reminiscence. Beautiful pearl and chain link um, necklace. Has a beautiful pair of matching pearl earrings that feature an adjustable clasp closure. Up next, this is a fashion fix necklace and it's from the, um, the, um, Glimpses of Malibu Collection. And I want to say this was maybe April. You see the March or April? It's called Flower Crown Blue Necklace. And we have the patchwork of blue stones that are set in this beautiful shape. Then each side mirrors the other. And we have this beautiful focal point, which is an open Irish filigree frame that has a white pearl inserted in the center. It's threaded along a silver chain, features a beautiful pair of white pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings for pierced ears. This is called Flower Crown Blue Necklace. It is from the Glimpses of Malibu Collection. And I wanna say this was a fashion fix necklace for the month of April. Item number 105, Flower Crown in Blue. Then we have this fascinating pair of earrings to accessorize the flower crown. They are called European Energy. It's a beautiful pair of blue dangled earrings that feature the pattern in the necklace, the elongated ellipsis pearl, and the light blue teardrop set in silver, interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. This is item number 106. Item number 106. Her name is European Energy, and she is this fabulous blue earring that also goes with the flower cream, the flower crown necklace, okay? And these are fashion fix pieces, both of them. Everything this evening is $5.40 each. Of course, the 40 cents is tax plus shipping and um, 
if you see something you like, go ahead and comment the item number with the word mine. And then I will reach out to you. Okay, up next, we have the Beach Bistro earring, which is featuring a beautiful green and a charcoal brown. This is a crescent shape that is indicative of the symbols of paparazzi. And then we have a round uh, acrylic uh, hoop that interfaces and connects to it. And then it attaches to an adjustable clasp, clo I'm, uh, I'm sorry, a standard fish hook fitting for pierced ears. This is called um, Beach Bistro in Green. Beach Bistro in Green. Then we have the Animal Spirit, my Animal Spirit in white. This is a beautiful print that is interfaced and connected to a silver post. This is acrylic texture, very nice. And it's item number 108 this evening. Item number 108. And then we have the House of Chain. The House of Chain is a five-layered gold chain that's right here that interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure. We have that much of an extender, so we have room to leverage it. It falls in layers. It's cute. It comes with a matching pair of earrings. This is item number 109. Item number 109. Her name is House of Chain gold necklace. Isn't she cute? Yep. Yep. You're gonna love her. She's beautiful. Item number 110 is a vintage necklace. It's called Large and in Charge. We have this beautiful pendant that hangs down from a chain of silver that has these beautiful silver beads to give it more flavor and pizzazz. It is a vintage necklace. We have a hammered out shape here at the top. And then we have this intricate, uh, delicate handiwork here in filigree that gives it flavor. It interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure. We don't have an extender on here. This is a short necklace. And look at the earrings. They are identical too. The piece in the center or the palette. Isn't that fabulous? This is called Lodging in Charge. Lodging in Charge in Silver. Item number 10. Item number 10. Okay. And the last thing I have on the table for you this evening is this beautiful pair of sand colored acrylic earrings that are in the size of a hoop. And they have that rectangular or inverted triangle running down the center, which interfaces and connects to a post. Very nice. Item number 111. Item number 111. And that's going to do it for me for this evening. I want to thank you for checking in, stopping by, and uh, hanging out with me for a little while. It's always a pleasure to see your faces here. Please feel free to share my video with your family and friends. As I've indicated, you can follow me on YouTube at Brenda Bentley at YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram at JL Queen B. That's Jewelry Lady Queen B. You can follow me on Facebook at Queen B Jewels 120239. And you can also follow me on my personal page on Facebook, that is Brenda Bentley Parish. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your presence this evening. You are appreciated. I thank you for taking the time to stop by. I can't see who is out there. For some reason, I'm not able to see, but thank you for checking in. Come on back with me now. I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be back on Thursday. So Thursday at 7.30, come on in with me. I just received my Fashion Fix set for the month of August. So that is what I will be showing on Thursday. Now, right now, the paparazzi convention is taking place in Las Vegas, even as we speak through the 27th. And so I am looking forward 
to sharing new releases and new pieces of jewelry as they become available. And guess what? Soon in a couple of months, we'll have 20 new pieces in our Signature and Z collection for fiscal year 2024. So keep on hanging out with me and thank you for joining me. My prayer remains one and the same. Until we meet again, I ask Father God to hold each one of us in the palm of his hand. And this evening, if you would join me in prayer for a couple of people, I really would appreciate it. The first person being my nephew, John Hinton Jr., who suffered a stroke back in January as he was traveling in Columbus and Georgia and is paralyzed on the right side. Although he is in a rehabilitation center, we want to remember him. My brother-in-law, Kenneth Parrish, is going through a health crisis and we want to remember him. And a cousin, Yolanda Floyd, we want to keep her in prayer and remember her. So that's what we are charged to do, to lift each other up and to pray for each other. And that's the only thing that we can do that is a good thing with no strings attached. So I want to thank you for joining me this evening. And come on back on Thursday and hang out with me again. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your presence. Please feel free to share, and I'll see you on Thursday. Until then, have a good night. Be blessed, and I'll see you later. Good night.